now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. Temperature and dew point pretty close together. 75 air temperature, dew point 74, giving it kind of a humid feel to the air out there. But a nice starry sky. It's a pretty start to the morning. Uh, not a whole lot of activity around some, I don't even think that this is actually hitting the ground. We've got some cloud cover in inland areas. Across the region, we do have some heavier rain showers down to the south. This is real rainfall, and that is significant. We're seeing uh, some fairly heavy rain from Miami all the way down through the Keys and dry Tortugas out in the Gulf out in the Atlantic, all of that moisture lifting northward, enhancing our rainfall chances. Been showing this for, gee, four or five days now. This is the water vapor imagery snapshot from a satellite of where the moisture is, where it is not. The tan color, the dry air used to be right over the state of Florida. Now it's retreated westward as that moisture lifts northward. That's important. Now, this is a, uh, a, a computer model that shows what's going to happen in the days ahead with the very moist air available to produce rainfall in our atmosphere. It's called precipitable water. Watch what happens. Wetter is redder here. And as it lifts northward, you can see that warm, moist, humid air sits right over the state of Florida. And in this area, just off the coast of the, uh, just off the Atlantic coast of uh, Florida, there is the possibility of some tropical development. The Hurricane Center gives it about a 40% chance that within this moisture to the south, we could see, lifting northward, an area of low pressure develop that could become tropical in nature. It could become the tropical depression or perhaps a tropical storm low end or a hybrid system perhaps. Not a big system, not a hurricane. It's not going to be a windstorm that's going to be a big problem for the state of Florida. It's going to be a rainmaker. That's what this one will be. And it could interact with a frontal boundary that'll stall out over north central Florida. So the combination of these factors, moisture, a low pressure area, a stalled frontal boundary, all acting together, could produce some significant rainfall, especially for the east coast of Florida. If that low does indeed move to the east, if it develops in the west, in the Gulf waters, you could have a higher rainfall total on our coast. But right now, uh, the probabilities are stacked in favor of an east coast event. Fair rain chances increasing, a little warmer today, breezy next week. Here are the computer models that show the, the showers and thunderstorms kind of lifting north as this area of low pressure develops. These are the spaghetti models that are being run on this system. And you kind of get the sense that it lifts northward and then kind of pushes westward with time. Following this kind of a track, it's the east coast that could see seven, eight, nine inch rainfalls. Watch what happens on the RPM computer model. Today, our rainfall chances go up. And then as that moisture lifts northward and a low develops, it could be a really heavy rainfall event for parts of, especially north central or uh, western parts of, uh, of the, uh, the coast to the north. You can see all that rainfall beginning to build. And as it does so, some very impressive totals coming our way. East wind at 5 to 10 knots and the official Sun Coast forecast for the rest of the week. There we go. Is, uh, you know, impressive rainfall totals. Looking for about a 70% chance by Monday of rainfall. Back to you.